dominion over creation told us to go into all the to go deep, and you went deep. That dive was the best, by the way, but the play place I built got smashed. Do you think we can save it? I don't know. I hope so. The first thing we have to do is pick up the pieces. Yeah, let's do it. We're trying to save this broken play place to unbreak what has been broken. Now we need to remember how they go back together. Yeah. I'll go get the plans. Wait. What? I didn't make plans. I just built it. Oh, yeah. I know. I think I took a picture and have it on my computer. I'll get your computer. Wait! What? I think I deleted that photo because I needed more space for video games. So what do we do? How can we unbreak what's been broken? Hmm. Let's think about it while we check out our Bible story. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Genesis, chapter three. God loved the people he had made very much. God wanted them to return that love, but knew that to be real love, it had to be a choice. The people had to choose to love God, not be forced to do it. So God made a rule for Adam and Eve, the first two people to follow. There was one single tree that they were not to eat from. Everything else in the entire wonderful garden was theirs, but that one tree. If they chose not to eat from that one tree, they would show that they trusted and loved God as God loved them. A snake came along and asked Eve about the rule God had made for them to follow. The snake tricked Eve into eating fruit from that one tree she wasn't supposed to eat from. Eve then gave some to Adam and he ate it too. 
They knew right away they had made a bad choice. God called out for them and they hid. When God found out what they had done, God's heart was broken. And this perfect friendship that was meant to be between God and people was broken as well. Because of what Adam and Eve did, they had to go through some pretty bad stuff, just like bad decisions that we make. But in the midst of that bad stuff, God did something really cool. He made clothes for Adam and Eve. God was still taking care of them, even though they had made a really bad decision and broken so much. You know what else? God was already planning how to fix these broken things for good, because that's what God does. God unbreaks what's been broken. I like that story, even though it had some sad parts. Me too. I like the part about God planning how to fix broken stuff. You know what that means? What? I don't think we have to rebuild this alone. Mom! Dad! Can you help? I'm really glad that God gave us my mom and dad so that they could help us to unbreak what's been broken. God unbreaks what's been broken. Thanks so much for learning and growing with us today, friends. Bye!